Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Good evening. You're watching the news from the Sultan of Oman Television. First, the headlines. The Sultanate marks the 44th Blessed Renaissance anniversary of the glorious 23rd of July. His Majesty the Sultan receives more cables of greetings on 23rd of July anniversary. And a ceremony is held marking the early operation of Adukum Airport to facilitate citizens and investors' movement to the Special Economic Zone Authority in Adukum. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. The Sultanate today marked the Blessed Renaissance Day, glorious 23rd of July anniversary. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has received more cables of greetings on this glorious occasion from a number of world leaders and senior officials who expressed the utmost greetings and best wishes for His Majesty of good health, happiness and long life and for the Sultanate every progress, growth and prosperity under His Majesty's wise leadership. His Majesty the Sultan received cables of greetings from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, President of the United Arab Emirates. His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein of Jordan. His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco. His Excellency President Dr. Munsif Al Marzuki of Tunisia. His Excellency President Munmoon Hussein of Pakistan. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Deputy President of the United Arab Emirates, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of Saudi Arabia. His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed Al Sharqi, Member of the Supreme Council of the UAE and Ruler of Fujaira. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad al Sharqi, Heir Apparent of Fujairah. His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Saif al Sharqi, Deputy Ruler of Fujairah. And His Excellency Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of India. His Majesty also received cables of greetings on the glorious occasion from their Highnesses and Excellencies, the Ministers and Advisors, Commanders of the Sultan Armed Forces, Royal Oman Police and other security forces, the Honorable Members of State Council, their Excellencies, Members of the Shura Council, Under Secretaries, Honorable Judges, Omani Ambassadors, Heads of Diplomatic Missions in the Sultanate, Representatives of International Organizations, Sheikhs, Dignitaries and and citizens. In their cables, they expressed their sincere greetings and best wishes of His Majesty the Sultan of continued health and long life, praising great civilizational achievements realized in the Sultanate under His Majesty's wise leadership, praying to Almighty Allah to preserve His Majesty and make him successful to achieve further aspirations of his people and nation. The Sultanate celebrated today the 44th anniversary of the Blazed Renaissance amid several achievements that covered all phases of life, starting from education, health, economic, security and stability, and ending with a state of law and institutions. These achievements are perceived by Omani people as a source of pride and appreciation. Several sustainable projects in all places in the country made Oman a modern state occupying its position among nations inspired by its deep-rooted history and pivotal strategic geographical location. The royal vision of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos is based on establishing sustainable infrastructure for future generations, diversifying sources of income through a number of vital pro projects such as ports due to its insignificance in the development of national economy and promoting non-oil economic sectors and attracting investments. More than 500 million Omani reals were allocated for new port sector projects in the 8th Five-Year Development Plan 2011-2015. 
Port Sultan Qaboos waits today for a new phase to be transferred to a main station on global and regional tourism map after providing its general site plan as a touristic port. Sohar Industrial Port is also one of the strategic projects that serve commerce and industry together as it is associated with giant industrial projects which are expected to put the Sultanate at the competitive front globally in the field. Salala Port is of great significance due to its closeness to global navigational in, in, routes which will enhance the commercial position of the Sultanate as being one of the main poles to exchange containers in the region. Lukum Port is one of the most significant economic projects that will support the national economy and contribute in diversifying sources of income through attracting big industrial investments, establishing special economic zones and developing other sectors and logistic activities. With continuous efforts by the government to spread the umbrella of healthcare, development in this sector has not stopped as to keep pace with population growth within this contact. Five agreements were signed recently to provide consultancy services for the design and supervision works for the new five hospitals, Suwek Hospital, Khasab Hospital, Al Najat Hospital, Samail Hospital and Al Falah Hospital. Also the components of Medical City in Halban area was approved. Modern state with fixed foundations and principles was and still one of the pillar of national development efforts to keep the pace with modern sciences and knowledge preserving at the same time its traditions and deep rootedness. Within the context, the basic law system was completed by the issuance of civil transactions law which organizes the life of individuals, relations and their private transactions. Council of Oman with its two chambers state and Ashura with legislative and auditing functions that reflects the firm desire to push forward the democratic process in the Sultanate as to be the bridge between the government and the citizens. Non-interference in the other's affairs and not letting the other to interfere in the internal affairs of the Sultanate was the slogan of Omani diplomacy that yielded many fruits and positives that were reflected clearly in the relations with neighboring countries and the whole world. This gave the Sultanate a pivotal role in solving many regional and international causes that enter as a pace mediator in various binding disputes. In continuation with the Omani deep-rooted role in spreading culture and thoughts and conveying the message of peace and tolerance in the whole world, various cultural and educational institutions play a great role in the field through internal and external centers such as Sultan Qaboos Cultural Center in Washington in the United States and various scientific chairs in different international universities as to promote the real image of Arab and Islamic civilization. Modern renaissance is being witnessed by the Sultanate in all fields that achieve the qualitative leap at the level of the land and the main since the dawn of the blessed renaissance in the glorious 23rd of July. Coinciding with the 44th anniversary of the Blessed Renaissance Day, July 23rd, the Special Economic Zone Authority in Dukum, CISAD, today celebrated the early operation of the Dukum Airport in the Governorate of Al Wusta under the auspices of His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Fatayisi, Minister of Transport and Communications. Dukum Airport is the first domestic airport to start early operation and receive passengers visiting the Wilayas, about 550 kilometers from Muscat. The Minister of Transport and Communication stated that early operation of Dukum Airport considered an addition to place the economic zone on the global investment map as it will facilitate the movements of investors and expected business in the airport. As for the other domestic airports, he added that the upcoming step in the early operation of Sahar Airport by the end of 2014. Dukum Airport is built as per the international specifications and the four kilometer long runway is designed to receive jumbo jets even at the Airbus a380. His Excellency Yahya bin Saeed Al Jabri, Chairman of CZAD, expressed that the route will expedite work at the underway projects and facilitate movements of Omanis and investors to, to and from Dukum. 
Last June, CZAD has awarded the contract of the third package, which includes the passenger terminal that accommodates 500,000 passengers. The work is also underway at the Air Cargo Building. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President Joko Widodo of Indonesia on his election as a new President of the Republic. Still to come in our news bulletin. Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry organized an evening on the love of the country and its leader in the Governorate of Musandam. Welcome back to Oman News from the Sultanate of Oman Television. Spreading the umbrella of education in the Sultanate is one of the most significant pillars of the Omani Blessed Renaissance, stemmed from the principle that human is the builder of development and its goal. The education sector had witnessed a qualitative leap in terms of development and expansion in various governorates of the Sultanate. The number of schools in the Sultanate increased to 1,553 in 2013, equipped with all modern educational tools. The number of students in 2013 amounted to 660,973 male and female students, taught by more than 64,000 male and female teachers. The educational march in the Sultanate adopted a scientific approach with regard to keeping pace with the requirements of population growth, achieving the general aims of development policies. The plans of the Ministry of Education also focused on developing human resources, paying attention to innovations, developing curricula and using electronic teaching. The tourism sector in the Sultanate witnessed a number of development projects and achievements, namely preparation of national strategy by the Ministry of Tourism, as well as increase in size of projects that serve the touristic movement. It is worth mentioning that the number of tourists visiting the Sultanate reached more than 2 million during 2013. The number of touristic establishments also increased to attract visitors from inside and outside the Sultanate. On the occasion of 23rd of July, National Center for Statistics and Information dispatched 15 buses loaded with information about 44 years reflected achievements attained in various economic and social fields through 15 indicators using infographic chart. The event was to, was to celebrate the 23rd of July anniversary and these buses proceeded to various stations, one of them dispatched to the Emirates of Dubai of the United Arab Emirates. The buses will tour various governorates of the Sultanate. The indicators written on the buses mentioned a number of data such as overall number of employees in public and private sectors, oil production, length of asphalted and non-asphalted roads, the 23rd of July is considered an, an eternal day and vivid in the memory of the citizens as the achievements witnessed of development, growth and a porch of fulfillment. The Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry organized an evening on the love of the country and the leader in the government of Musandam under the auspices of His Excellency Dr. Khalid bin Salim, a Saidi Secretary General of the State Council. 
The activities highlighted social and economic responsibilities. The evening also focused on achievements of the country in various fields and March of Sultan's development. It also included a poetic session where poets from the government expressed their joy on the 23rd July anniversary and achievements of modern Omani Renaissance. Here are the Ramadan times for tomorrow. Fajr prayers will be at 4.09 a.m. and Makhr prayers will be at 6.58 p.m. Now for the general weather forecast. Cloudy skies will prevail over the coastal areas of the government of the far and nearby mountains with chances of intermittent drizzle. Rest of the Sultanate will have clear skies with chances of scattered rain, occasionally thunderous over the Hajar Mountains and nearby areas. Winds will be southerly to southwesterly to moderate to active along the coast of Arabian Sea, while it will be southerly to southwesterly light to moderate in the rest of the Sultanate. Seas along the coastal areas of Arabian Sea will be rough with a maximum wave height of 4.5 meters and along the rest of the coast it will be slight with a, with, to moderate with a maximum wave height of 2 meters. This is the Sultanate of Oman television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. The Sultanate marks the 44th Blessed Renaissance anniversary of the glorious 23rd of July. His Majesty the Sultan receives more cables of greetings on 23rd of July anniversary. And a ceremony is held marking the early operation of Dukum Airport to facilitate citizens and investors' movement to Special Economic Zone Authority in Dukum. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the studio in the newsroom, it's good night.